all our drips from this morning. I, th I forgot we poured this morning. I was trying to peel those off. All right, we're gonna. Where's that piece? I saw a fleck. I contaminated it. Oh well. How is everybody today? I poured right when I was pouring. I saw a dry chunk flop out. I'm leaving a little in here because I'm going to do something kind of weird color wise here in a minute. So, everybody having a good day today? Thanks for joining us again. Thanks for all the love. You guys were a lively group earlier today. This is going to be very visually appealing, I think, in a minute. We're going to put some really cool colors down. We have somebody wanting black pearl. I don't think it's like the black pearl, like Jack Sparrow's boat, but well, I, bet, I guess it's pretty debatable who really owns the black pearl if you watch all that series. So, more than one person thought they owned that boat, right? What are you most thankful for when you sit down and are thankful for stuff and grateful? Like this Thanksgiving, what was it that you were specifically grateful for? If you had to say it in one or two words, what would that look like? Do we have anybody on there? You do? You guys don't just watch and don't just perv out on me for free. You guys have to give answers to these questions. No, not really. But I thank you for being here. Jeanette says she's thankful she has a husband to remind her to be here. Jeanette, that's a good one. Good job, Jeanette. Glad you have your husband too. All right, we're going for black pearl. We're going to do a few different methods here. Start out with a wood grain pattern. I'm going to show you how to wood grain something. Really simple. If you're not an artist and you're just like me, you're just an autistic kid that with a dream. I'm not even that cool, dude. The smartest kid I know is autistic. Seriously, we, we would ask this kid. So I didn't even know what autism was, but I started noticing this kid that one of my buddies took care of was just amazing. And he would notice everything. He'd memorize everything. I'd start asking him. He'd go to work. With, I'd, it's kind of fun. We, I used to be able to bring him to work quite a bit just with us before I even had kids. And um, we'd say, where's the hammer? Uh, just any random thing. Didn't matter what it was. He'd seen it, memorized where it was, and remembered. And I was always like, man, I don't know what that kid is. He's like the smartest kid I ever met. So yeah, I joke about being autistic. Robbie, if, Robbie, if you're watching, you know I'm not as smart as you. So. Tips and trips, thank you. I'm grateful to give you guys just a tip. Oh, the blue right here, it's gonna be pretty. You know what, I try my hardest to do. I have a lot of fun doing these. The, the lives are my little break up and fun of the day because usually my day is full of solving customers' issues or taking care of something that's stressing me or a customer or some, something. And then I get to come in here and just have fun. I mean, I have a lot of fun at work, but this is definitely my more fun time. As goofy as this is, I think we're gonna get this looking like a wood grain, guys. I think y'all will be very, very happily surprised with what this looks like. Or you'll be like, God, we want, we waited for that long to watch that idiot mess that up. Like I always say, my grandma, I only saw my grandma like three times, the one I'm talking about and the other one once, but this lady, um, this lady, my grandma, I shouldn't say that. God bless you, grandma. She's dead. Um, but she was very honest, and I drew a picture of like a tractor and a duck or something dumb, and I didn't know her very well, but I said, hey, look at this, grandma. And she goes, that's interesting. And I was, I remember I was pretty young, but I was like, I think that's how you tell a kid their art sucks. <laughs> so, why not? Silver. We still have our 30% sale going on through today. Best sale of the year. All our kits on sale, classes. Hope you all join me for a class. This coming year, we're gonna be doing some really fun things in some of the classes and some big on-site. We have 
really fun projects for almost every single class. So countertops, floors. Okay, now I haven't been doing my job. I'm dirty pouring this at the end. So I should be, at the end of every one of these cups, I should be dumping the excess upside down and leaving it just to drain into my, um, just to drain in to my black there so I have enough to do a dirty pour. It's a good, good line. What do you guys want to see us work on next? What project do you want to see me do? Or somebody else do? Maybe you, I guarantee there's better people to do projects than me. All right. A dirty pour is exactly that. You just get dirty, dump it all in one cup all out and it naturally will do what you trying to mess around and be all artistic for 20 minutes could never do it just it'll leave a really neat pattern all on its own I'm not gonna pour this right now but I'm gonna dump it all in the cup and let it kind of sit there for a minute while I do my next process because remember I said we're gonna do a few processes so I'll show you that no matter who you are no matter what your skill level or whatever your pattern there's something for everyone now I'd usually would pick one of these following three patterns to do for any one job. I wouldn't do all three in the same job, but but for you guys, we'll play around. Is Joshua and Carson doing a shower wall? Joshua, a shower wall. You know what? We should do that. We actually just did some of the nicest shower walls I've done in a long time out in California by a really good gentleman we're working for out there. And I have another one I have to go out and do as master and as his oldest son's room and make sure I take care of that. So maybe we'll video. I don't, I don't like, I don't want to videotape in his house, but I'll, I'll see if we'll do a little more instructional on that. But they turned out just beautiful. It's like a satin black. It's, I think it's prettier than I even was expecting it to be when I first wanted to do it. Um, white vinegar is a great way um, to take epoxy off um, if you need something really gentle. Something else like 70% alcohol. If you want really dry alcohol, you can use 99. I spray a lot of 99, but sometimes people don't like that dry of alcohol on their skin. Um, so yeah, that's, that is one definitely a, a good way is um, white vinegar or white, definitely white vinegar or um, alcohol at whatever concentration you're most comfortable with. You know what? I'm going to actually clean my hands up just a little bit since I'm turning into such a dirty, dirty kid over here. Spray a little. This is our 99% isopropyl. Spray it on a rag. Just wipe my hands down. Same as you guys were asking how to get epoxy off. This alcohol just dissolves it right away immediately while it's still wet prior to it curing. Wipe it off my skin. Now I have very clean gloves make sure you don't pick up your torch with wet alcohol on your hand so it'd be really exciting for every single person except you so Where are you we are in grand junction colorado that's the western side of the state and we have people from all over the world show up to our classes so we're very blessed with that we get to have friends from everywhere here Thank you guys for joining us, by the way. Let me know where you're watching from. Now, I always choose to torch because torching 
is a great way to pop air bubbles um, very aggressively and quickly and level out the product, but it doesn't really push your product around a lot like blow dryers, heat guns, all the other things. A lot of people think a heat gun's less aggressive, but it actually pushes colors. Now, sometimes you want to push those colors around because you're doing an ocean floor or something, but often you have this really nice pattern and you want to keep it, and, and if you want to keep it, quickly torch more like what I'm doing instead of try that instead of a heat gun and see if you don't get really crisp lines still. Now I'll show you a few ways that if you don't want to, if you want to quickly and neatly break your whole pattern up, you can. And I'll do that with you right here. And look at this over here. Here's the dirty pour. I think the trick to a dirty pour, to making a dirty pour look right, is, is to not go overboard with it. Like right through here, if it's like a wood grain effect all the way down. And I think that is kind of leave as many of your base colors in there and just barely, like just have a little bit of your gold and your other accenting colors in there. And you're going to get a way cleaner, dirty pour that looks natural. I just think that's kind of one of the fun parts of this. So now I'm going to go ahead and wreck this piece. Should I? Yeah, why not? Now if I want to break this up through here, we could do something just like so. Um, depends on if we're pouring our panels with countertop epoxy, and in that case, we usually use MDF, MDX, um, MADX. There's a couple exterior grades out there, um, but often I use just MDF, quarter inch or half inch, and I just totally encapsulate the back. I mix a little core to it, put a little acetone in there, and just make like a really washable solution out of our epoxy that we'll tell you how to do if you call, or I just told you. I'll always tell you. I just. If you forget what I say online, you can always call and we'll reiterate it or go online. We have an awesome video on it. So, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll kind of dilute that down and I just saturate the piece and then it's completely sealed with epoxy, which is way better than any kind of sealer or paint or anything like that. So as you can see, you can also just spray really contrasting colors in here if you want to and get a really cool look just like that alone. So. Tennessee, LA, good job everybody. Texas, Pittsburgh. I'm going to California next week, so if you need a job, I'm going to be out in the San Diego area, so if you need something looked at, I'm finishing out another guy's job. Not finishing, but working on it more. I think he'll be the, I think he'll be my part-time boss for the rest of my life as I go out there. Oh, I'm loving that blue. Don't know if you guys do. Now I'm going to put a little bit of translucent green on this. See if I can get a little bit of a contrast on that. I'm trying to get some real large speckling effect. I don't want to get a lot of real separation between the actual divots. I used to just pour a lot of like black tables. I'd pour it hot and then I'd spray 100% of my pigments would just be sprayed on just like this cost you like ten dollars to pigment a whole kitchen and it looks crazy. I think we're coming up on this. I think you're I better I better stop messing with it here in a minute, huh? I saw Michael joined on the live. Michael's on the live. Yes. I hope I'm not disappointing. <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna spray charcoal. I do have some trans red, which I do like. That'll probably be one of my final colors. Remember, you can spray just alcohol as well and get a really nice broken effect. I'll probably disappoint everybody here in a second, though. Because I'm going to do something completely wreck the whole piece. All right. Now, how do you like all that? I don't know. Australia. We're at in Australia. Brisbane is one of my favorite cities in the world. That's such a pretty place. And you guys were so nice. That's probably one of my favorite trips I ever did. Cal I'm not sure where that is. I got to go to Byron Bay, Surfer's Paradise. and Now, you don't always have to do what I do. Because, of course, I always touch everything until I break it.
not everything, but it, you know. Usually my epoxy gets over manipulated, especially on these lives. People always are like, why did you do that? Well, I did it for you guys. I'm trying to just show technique and have fun and show you that you're never backed into a corner where you can't almost always keep messing with this product because it's such a high-end, long-working product. Now, I'm just hitting it with that torch again really quickly in case I worked any air bubbles because I know I worked some in there with that roller. Not very many, but obviously there'll be tiny little air bubbles and I want this just to be as smooth and glassy as possible. Now I always warn people not to spray alcohol on the piece, but a lot of people will be spraying alcohol down and they just don't really seem to think it matters. And then they grab the torch and just so you know why it matters here. Alcohol is very flammable and if you do spray it across her, um, make sure you do not have any open flame because you wouldn't want to catch your kitchen on fire. So. Beautiful. Now that the fire's out, I'm actually going to spray this kind of heavy and let the alcohol just evaporate off. And this will help further pop air bubbles. Just a really fine mist, but 100% broadcast of the entire thing. And now as the alcohol evaporates, it'll leave an ultra smooth base. As long as I sprayed it on a nice, even 100% coat of alcohol, just like that, it'll look very shimmery. Now, of course, we will not touch it with a torch because it would light on fire. So that'd be a little bigger than the last one. So, so here we are, and this should make it very muted, super subdued as the alcohol evaporates off, and it should leave a perfectly glass coating where you don't see any of the shimmering in here. So is oh, that's going to be beautiful. Mexican velvet obsidian. Mexican velvet what? Obsidian. Obsidian. That sounds pretty badass. I've never yeah. seen that. I guess we made it. So. Well, we made Mexican obsidian. That's what I was trying to do. I told you guys. I just accidentally called it black pearl. So. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and I hope you guys can join us for our class here. I hope you guys have had a very good Thanksgiving. As you gear up for Christmas, um, be sure to call us and let us know how we can help you. And God bless you guys. Sorry, usually where I kill your local pedophile, but I guess this just has a boring message. So be dangerous if you need to be, and have a really good day, and I'll see you tomorrow. I think that's really actually turning out really subdued. Yeah, that's beautiful. I like it, yeah. Yeah. It's just fun what you can do.